see a full moon. When my son was about two years old, I said, hey, Skyler, what do you see when we're taking a walk? Dad, I see a half moon. Said, what? He said, yeah, Dad, the moon is a sphere, and you're looking at half of it. Said, wow, he understands geometry. So as a two-year-old, you start reading. Most kids start reading Hat in a Hat, very basic book. My son picks up the Granger Industrial Supply Catalog. 4,130 pages, reads the whole thing. He starts going off to preschool then. And you see five schools up here, because that's how many preschools he was asked to leave. Did you know you could be asked to leave a preschool? All behavioral-related issues. Couldn't get along with his peers. So finally, we get out of the preschool days. Here we go to the public school system. Welcome to kindergarten. Hey, Skyler, come on into kindergarten. After a few weeks, they call us in and say, your son may be profoundly gifted, sure likes to read catalogs. <laughs> But he can't get along with his peers and will not listen to his teachers. You need to seek professional medical help. So, wow. Parents, we get nervous. We go off to see the psychiatrist. Psych.org. What do they do? They bring in their DSM-4 to try to get a diagnosis. The interesting, interesting thing about autism is there is no definitive diagnosis. They have a series of things they look for. Um, three things listed here. Social interactions, communication issues, or repetitive behaviors. If you have enough, you get diagnosed. Bad news, your child has autism. Now why? Now you have to figure out where is he on the spectrum. The spectrum of autism goes from low functioning of severe mental disabilities to high functioning. It seems a little quirky. There's some people that have something called Asperger. You may know a few of them. They may seem normal. You should have been around for their childhood. That was kind of a nightmare. A few other things most people don't know about childhood autism. There's over a million and a half children in the U.S. alone. It's growing at 10 to 17 percent per year. Boys are four times as likely to get diagnosed with autism as girls. If you took all the children with childhood cancer, juvenile diabetes, and pediatric AIDS, they still wouldn't equal the number of children with autism. Yet each one of them gets at least twice as much money as autism research gets. Clearly, it's inverted. Oh, one other thing. Family history. If any of you are engineers, you are twice as likely to have an autistic <laughs> child. I'm an engineer. My wife is an engineer. Take our advice. Marry an artist. <laughs> if you're thinking about a cure for autism, the first rule is there is no cure. They're doing genetic research, brain studies, trying to figure out what's going on, what environmental factors, but they haven't got it nailed down yet. So now you need help. Go see the mental health professionals. You know these guys, they're on TV, right? It's easy, they'll help you. Wrong. Step one, you go see a psychiatrist. What's he do? Writes a prescription. What kind of meds would you like? Let's increase your dosage, that'll help. You can't get to sleep, here's another one. You can't get up, here's another one. Then you go see the psychologist who's going to say, what kind of problems are you having with your child? What should we do with him? <laughs> it's left to you, though, to bring those two together because these two guys don't talk to each other. Then you look at diet. You look at exercise. You look at activities. You strive for the thing your child is passionate about and promote that as much as you can. You're going to need help. You heard this from Hillary Clinton, right? It takes a village. <laughs> Our village isn't your typical village. This isn't the guys you find in the neighborhood. This is the guys you find in this kind of audience, at ASU, at Gangplank, at Heatsink. My son's in electronics, software, and programming. You also want to find social opportunities for your son to work on those social issues he has. We met a woman who said, my son's in a transformer. It's great. Set up a play date. Yes, yeah, small problem. My son's transformer, they have 50 <laughs> Every once in a while, though, you will have a serendipitous moment. Ours happened at first robotics competition here in Phoenix. My son happens to sit next to Steve Wozniak. He gets my child. He understands him. They talk for 40 minutes. Binary code, embedded circuits, everything else. Take away three things tonight, please. Autism is all around you. Learn more about it. Be a little more understanding when you see that quirky kid and don't say, it's the parents. <laughs> and think about funding autism in your next donation. Thank you.